Have you ever wondered if you can 3D print a key for a lock? Well, it turns out you can, and today I'm going to show you how it's done. Alright guys, we're back in Tinkercad, but what we need to start first is with our pictures, so we're going to head over to paint.net, and as you can tell I already have preloaded all the pictures. So first we need a picture of our key, and a picture of our keyway, and we're going to need a way to fill those in. What I used was just the magic wand tool for this picture. What I did was I cranked the exposure on my camera all the way up to get a nice clean crisp edge. And a picture of the keyway. And for that, what I did is I just used the line tool over here. Oh, the line tool. Zoomed in real heavy. And then just traced it out. I'm not going to go through that because I've already done it right here. Next, what we're going to need to do is come over to svgcreator.com and create our SVGs from our files. One for the key, convert the file. Okay guys, the key's done converting, so we'll download that, just save it, and we'll click convert another file, and we'll select our keyway now, and we'll convert our file. Okay, our keyway's done, so we'll download this one, and we'll head back over into Tinkercad. Okay, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is import our files. So we're gonna choose our files, we're going to import the key in first. So here's our key file. We know that our key is 40 millimeters long. If you don't know how long your key is, you are going to need at least one measurement of your key. I'm using the length end to end. If you don't have your key and you only have a picture, you're going to need to find a key blank for your key and to measure that. So we're going to import that at 40 millimeters wide. It's going to go ahead and auto scale here. And there's our basic shape. What we're going to need to do is adjust the height though. Let's pop in a ruler real quick. Our height will make it 1.5 millimeters. Next, we're going to want to import our keyway photo in. So for our keyway photo, we know that our key is uh, 1.5 millimeters, and we know we're going to need this to be our hole to make our key uh, shape. So we're going to go ahead and make this 1.7 millimeters wide. We're going to import that in. So there we go, here's our two basic shapes. Let's just go ahead and take this, grab it, and move it out the way real quick. We're going to want to take our key and rotate it 90 degrees first, so it's standing up. And then we're going to want to come in, grab it, and kind of try to flatten it out some. There we go, I'm going to say that's good enough for what we're doing. Next we're just going to pull our key up above this plane so we can see it nice and well. And we're going to bring our keyway over. We'll just drag it on over here. And we're going to need to rotate it. So what we'll do first is we'll rotate it this way. Uh, say 90 degrees. And then we'll rotate it this way. Going forward and backwards here. 90 degrees. And that's our basic keyway shape. Now something to remember about this is that we need to position this keyway to where whenever we make our negative, it's mirrored uh, so it matches our key. Otherwise your key will be backwards, so we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Bring it in, play with it a little bit to make sure it all fits. Hold Z that. Make sure to grab just the middle. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our negative, and how we're going to do that is turn this into a hole. And that will be what our cut key looks like. However, I can tell you I have this backwards. I need this to be on this side. So what we'll do is we'll grab this, and we'll rotate it this direction, 180 degrees. And there we go. And we just want to go ahead and grab our full-size key real quick without the hole, and duplicate that by pressing Control D. Then we'll just move it over with our arrow keys, and we'll group this together. We don't want to select this one, just these two. Now that it's grouped together, we'll look at it and kind of go over it real quick, make sure there's nothing hanging off, and it looks good. Next, what we're going to want to do is get rid of this head of the key, because we're going to turn this into a hole, and it'll get rid of this. So we'll just grab a box in, Bring it in, 
and cover up what we want to get rid of. So I'm looking at it, and I want to get rid of everything that's thick, so I'll go all the way to up here. Pretty good. A little bit more. Alrighty. So we'll grab both of these and group them together. Hope I didn't get rid of enough. Grab this. Pull it down real quick. Where it covers the bottom of that. Grab them both again and regroup. There we are. Now we have just this. And we're going to make this a hole. And we're going to click both of them. Press our align key. Click on our full size key. And center it with the middle. Next, all we have to do is kind of look at it and see how it lines up. So obviously this isn't lining up. So we need to adjust it some. Move it back until it's lined up. And that looks like it's lined up pretty good. So we'll kind of look at it through, make sure we don't have anything peeking through. And as you can tell, we do right there. Oh. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just grab this and we'll expand the height down just a hair. Because this won't really matter because what we're going to do is just use this to cut away this section. We just want to make sure it's all the way through all of our teeth. So that's looking pretty good. And what I do is I want to give myself a little bit extra clearance here. So I'm going to grab this and drag this up. Oh, no, nope, can't do that because of this. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead, grab it, and regroup it real quick and see how it looks. And that's our basic key. We'll go ahead and rotate this down a little bit, 90 degrees. So you can see, okay, so we have our keyway shape now. We've cut out the key section right here so it's thinner. And we cut this slot in the back so it fits in. Well, that's all there is to it, guys. This cut out our key, so now we'll 3D print it and go ahead and try it out. So to 3D print it, I'm going to use Cura, and I'll show you my settings. Okay, we've brought our key model into Cura, and how I like to place it is with that channel slot down. So the idea here is that our printer will build up over it, and then it'll just bridge right here. So how I have this set is on the super quality settings, 0.12 millimeters per layer. I have infill set at 100%. I have it all as top layers, or sorry, all as bottom layers because it's at 100% infill. And I have slowed my speed settings down to 30 millimeters a second. And this is for my CR10S5. So we're going, we're going to go ahead and slice this. And it should take us 13 minutes to print out. One gram of plastic. And I don't even think it's quite one gram, to be honest. So guys, we're going to go back over to the bench and see how it looks. Okay guys, here's our final product, our 3D printed key, and here's our lock. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just pop open this lock with this key. And it opened it up no problems. So one of the questions I was asked a lot about the last video was how long will this key last? So I've personally cycled this key over 200 times. I did 100 on video last night, and unfortunately, I lost half of the footage. So, I'm going to go ahead and splice that in at the end of the video. So, we're going to go ahead and zoom in here and see if we can get you some detailed, up-close shots of this real quick. So, there's our key. Let's see if we can focus in any better. And as you can tell, here's the detailing on it. It captured it really nice. And on the back, it cut in our slot. Pretty well, but not perfect. I had to kind of force this key in the lock the first time in order to clean out that channel. But since I did that, the lock works nice and smooth now, and the key inserts with ease. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be back to do another one. If you have anything special you want us to do, let me know, and we'll go ahead and get it done. Sorry, guys, the camcorder died, so we're going to keep going. We're at 64. 65, or 64, 65, 
66. Sixty-seven, Seventy-two, seventy-three, Seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two. Eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five, eighty-six, Ninety-five, Ninety-nine. And say it with me, guys. One hundred. There we go. So that's at least a hundred uses of this key in this padlock.